Hey guys, so the videos that follow this one are going to be an overview of the uh, SPI interface. I'm actually working on, on a project where I'm going to be using SPI to communicate with these RGB LEDs. So I figured, hey, there you go, that's my little way to get back into the game, right? Um, everything that I say as far as registers and datasheet stuff and even the code is going to apply to the STM32F1 as well as the actual chip that I'm using and that you'll see in my code is the STM32L0 in the um, nucleo uh, board form factor there. Um, the reason I'm using that is because for one, I lost all my ST links that I had for these. So I don't even have an ST link for this anymore, even though you can use the uh, nucleo board to program these, but I'd rather not. So. Yeah, everything that I'm going to say and talk about is going to apply to both uh, the F1 and the L1 series. Um, so uh, another um, reason why I am going to use the L0 is because it has onboard EEPROM. So I can store data on the chip um, that I won't lose when I power the chip off, like maybe user settings or something for my project. Um, and then these RGB LEDs that I'm using, they don't actually, they don't officially support SPI. It just so happens that their timing requirements are identical to uh, an SPI mode. So therefore you can get away with using SPI. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the gists of the videos that follow. Um, I have about two or three videos where I'm going to go into the data sheet, explain the SPI um, the peripheral and, and the settings and, and what you how you should can or would um, set that up and then we'll get into the code. Um, I'm going to try to make my videos now um, in in shorter chunks as opposed to these long videos that I had before. Um, I just made this video actually and it was 26 minutes long. I'm like I can't make people sit through that you know pausing stopping and pausing and stopping. It's better just to let them finish an entire short video and then come back to the rest, you know, some other day or some other time. But there's an actual like set point as opposed to you pausing it like at 13 and a half minutes and then you have to come back the next day and figure out where you were. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so my videos are definitely going to be a lot shorter. Um, I have a new um, video and audio setup. I'm still getting used to the mic. It's very sensitive. So I tend to raise my voice a lot. And then the mic just picks it all up. So I'm trying to almost like have a calm monotone kind of voice and not kind of, you know, go crazy and stuff. Um, but yeah, and then I have the stuff on. I got I got you playing in the background. Crazy show. Um, but yeah, so SPI, that's what's coming up. Um, in the next video, I'm going to go over some diagrams. I'm going to explain... Uh, full duplex, half duplex, and simplex modes of the peripheral. When you should use what and um, and 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 all that stuff. Um, so thank you guys for the support, and I'm gonna start making uh, the videos that I promised, like the bootloader and all these other things. All right, guys.